means it's time for new releases, and this week we're getting Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Uncharted 4 is set several years after the events of Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, with our hero Nathan Drake, now retired as a fortune hunter, settling into a life of domestication with his wife Elena Fisher. But you know this isn't a game about what they're going to cook for dinner. Nathan is back and at it again, searching for hidden treasure, and you're along for the whole ride. Reviewer Mike Mahardy said Uncharted 4 is a challenge to the medium, in its writing, in its design, in its understanding of what makes games unique. Uncharted 4 is something to aspire to. It's a shining example, and we'll be talking about it for years to come. It got a 10 out of 10 on GameSpot, and you're going to want to grab this game on the 10th. Doom returns with a reboot this week. But if you're a fan of the original game, be aware that it might look and feel a little different, as noted by the absence of Doom Guy in the player's HUD. Or the fact that there's no HUD at all, for that matter. But you will get some nostalgia, don't you worry. Weapons such as the Super Shotgun and the BFG 9000 will return, and enemies from the original game like the Revenant, Mancubus, and the Cyber Demon return as well. But they look a little different. And I'm not just talking about the graphics. Doom's brutal campaign will be more than 13 horrifying hours long, and Ultra Nightmare difficulty returns, it will have permadeath. Whether you're reliving past moments of glory or trying a Doom game for the first time, you're in for a hell of a ride. Try out those sick melee executions on the 13th. Join me 200 years in the future for the RTS Stellaris. Control ships and research vessels in a game where combat is more centered towards the bigger picture, you know, preparation and strategy. There's also diplomatic options, such as alliances and trade agreements with other races. The game begins by picking a species, its ethics and its technologies. And you're not just picking the one that looks the coolest. Each species has unique traits and engineering styles. You explore and colonize space and focus on diplomacy and governing the whole empire. But it won't be peaceful for long. Somebody's gonna try and take over that galaxy, and it's up to you to defend your race from annihilation. Choose diplomacy on the 9th. Developer Moss gives us a modern revival of an arcade vertical shoot 'em up sequel, Raiden 5, on the Xbox One this week. The sequel is set to feature multiple stories, as well as the highest number of stages and weapons featured in a single Raiden game thus far. You'll be able to trace the trails of your friends to help others out in tough areas. The battlefield will also change in real time based on your actions and those of your friends. And you'll be able to encourage other players online using the one button cheer system. Cheer them on on May 11th. Finally, a beloved platformer from 2010 is making its way to Wii U this week. It's Super Meat Boy. You're a big wad of meat trying to rescue your Band-Aid girlfriend in over 300 well-designed levels that will test your skills and patience, all set to a wonderful score by Danny Baranowski. If you've played this before, play it again. And if you haven't, well, what are you doing with your life? You become the meat on the 12th. Remember that release dates are based on retailer listings, and sometimes they change. Happy gaming!